Now, yesterday, um, well, we played this. Um, we got ambushed, and I shot a hash shoot Rebecca so she wouldn't eat the baby. Now we're heading to that shack with Avo or Arvo, whatever his fucking name is. So let's get into it. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. That's enough. Leave him alone. Just fucking stay put. <coughs> I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. <laughs> I guess he's not uh, held okay. the for. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I wish I'd had a chance to meet him. Me, too. I wish he was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. Wish I kinda wish you made a joke where at least you don't have to sew it up yourself this time. Just started saying, I was like, at least you're not trapped in the barn or. How did we get here? Huh? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends <coughs> are dead, for no good reason. And I couldn't do mm. anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. We all made mistakes. Yeah. Yep, me. Some of us more than others. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you oh can God. change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. Fall this time. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. Shit. It's gonna clean it. 
Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. <laughs> it's gotta get done. Oh, shit. It's going to suck, of course. Probably ask Jane to get the baby. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. It seems fitting. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Cause I think I'm alright. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Mm. It's okay. I trust you. Mm. So how's it look? It's not bad. I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Well, it looks a lot better than it did. And maybe my modeling days ain't over. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh god, can he prepare? So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. <sighs> Let's do it. Don't be a baby. We already got one. <laughs> yeah, we do. <sighs> Holy fucking hell. <laughs> you need to stop squirming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Hmm. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Is that it? I thought you said it was a house. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit. There's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. 
Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. I'll uh, see if, uh... See if you can calm him down a bit. <laughs> no, nope. I saw you. you. It's okay. It's okay. You're a natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. I'd have liked to go to college. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... 
don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no <laughs> secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. That's gross. Yes, it is, Clem. <laughs> we shouldn't be talking about it. So I had to do that once. Well, that's gross. I wish I had one. I think it had. Well, I didn't read him. I just seen the one that's gross. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him. No, I think we could bet on that. Cause you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Is it normal talking this right now? Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change. What did I say? Is she gonna take me? Okay, take a swig of it. I'm gonna check. Uh... I've lost people too. We all have. At least you know way I can hug them. At least make them feel better. I mean, you're really stuck. Fuck. I kind of wish there was an option like to uh, hug them, make them feel better, or give them, uh, bring them over by the fire. I guess I have Jane. Hey, you get the good stuff. I don't. But do you? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know about Kenny. I know things. I've seen them. Very bad. Very, very bad. Okay, I'm gonna get this over with. Okay, I don't know why I walked way back over there, but okay. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's, it's rum? Probably. <laughs> probably. I can't... Fuck, I need to, like, pause it and see what it says. I guess, uh... I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. Go ahead. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. It'll only be weird if you make it weird. Just be cool. Hang out. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want a sip? It's okay. No, thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive, though. It's easier now <laughs> than running cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. <laughs> Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. 
At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Wow, that's really stupid. Yeah, Clem, I was drunk. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me drunk. Oh, I really had to go. out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're not the first one to tell me that. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. She drunk already. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. My god. Wanna sit here? No. Wanna sit here? No. That's... Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Hmm. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Koch's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out... I'm gonna try and believe that, too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come, too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder if we want the liquor bottle again. It's like, good thing I didn't go for the liquor. What's this? I'm gonna talk to this guy again. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey. I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Let's try. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Shh, shh. All right, enough of that. How you, Clem? 
It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just uh, spend so much time trying to stay alive. And almost. You don't get a chance to. Oh, it's been 20 something minutes. Yeah. 25, 26. I need to make more time for that. Alcohol um, helps. <laughs> hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. I don't like it either, but you shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said... Come on, Kenny. Uh, I really don't know what happened. I was, uh... Fucking around my laptop. I don't think that. I still haven't got a new one though. Haven't. I, I just I'm still using old, but it updated today, so it's a little bit faster. More nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave me alone. Sorry. Okay. My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Damn. Okay, I don't know what's going on. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Jesus Christ. Oh, baby. Oh, thank God. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the it's lookout. It's not far, but it depends on how fucking thick the ice is. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay.
I can't really move my fucking shit up. God. We're okay. I have a feeling he's gonna fall in. Oh shit. We got some walkers behind us. It's only two of them. Should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. Go. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Oh no. I knew it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just just gotta be careful. Oh, no, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out. You gotta get out of there, Luke! Yeah, Clem! I'm working on it! You need to help! No! Clem, you're gonna go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're lying! You Stop can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it, but you need to go. No, now. I got him. I can't. It's too dangerous. Leave him. I like that. Because I know she can't, she's not much, she's not good of a shot. Clementine, stop! Clementine! She's not a good shot with a gun. She'll miss. Just go back. Please. We got you. Please. Oh shit. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. Damn it. Just... Oh, 
You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! It wasn't Marvel's fault. Luke was shot. And who got him shot? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Yeah, Teddy. Fuck you. You oh, fuck, I didn't see how far though. Stop it. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How me? is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? I thought I had matches. Everybody's just getting their ass kicked, really. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. Glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Clem. 
Be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. It took my bill, sir. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. Mexico. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road. Really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, long time ago, just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. It needs to be heated. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Yeah. Probably use the fucking uh use the excavator excavator. Try to use the battery on that thing to uh charge the truck battery. Wish they'd finished this place. I guess we'll talk to uh, Bonnie. Oh, God, it's fucking cold. Hmm? I thought upload was here. Fuck. Want one? Do you remember when you saw me first, back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. I'm gonna try to get Banshee and Biomoss to Even come hang out. You knew you had to do and see if. Everyone feels like it since I don't got school no more. Yeah. All the time. 
Uh, see if they want Clover. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get them to bring their Black Ops two. You know. And we're gonna do a system. I'll say one thing about uh, Luke. Play. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. Oh shit! Again I don't with think this ever been I almost dropped guy. my phone again. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? Uh, I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for I you. I just realized honey. she was smoking. What the hell? You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people, a lot of men, and listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? Oh, what if I'm I went back piece. through and just clicked um, silent the entire time? I wonder what would happen. I really do. I wonder, like, would the, what would the story be if I just clicked stay silent? Hell is wrong, you son of a bitch. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or <laughs> something. I think it needs food. Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's going to puke. puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. <laughs> I think it's gonna puke. Think... It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. <laughs> Gross. I should have been on the phone again. <laughs> it's gonna puke. It's gonna puke. It's gonna... It puked. It puked. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Did he get started? He 
got it working. Damn. Works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Jenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! I didn't want her to come out like that. But, okay. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know, you're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. <coughs> Can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, 
When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat with those people at dinner, well, I knew you were growing up. And yeah, I felt sad, but also pride. Pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. There you go. How long has it been? Almost an hour. Oh, this needs to hurry up. I'm dead ass tired. Look, mom. What the hell? Is this a dream? The truck's gone. What the hell? The dream? Oh. What the hell are they doing? Who's there? Now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. This is Where are you up, going? Really? Anywhere but here. What do you mean? Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. What about the baby? That's fucked up. Really? After everything that's happened, they just up. Clem. Clementine! What the hell? Where am I? The fuck? Where am I? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? 
duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. The fuck is going on? His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? The hell is going on? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Well, why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? What the hell is going on? One time. Is she having a dream? Was this entire thing Clem, just a mirage of what sense. she's been through? How come? Or is she having a... Or is she in a coma and she's going back... After they do. She's remembering. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> the hell? Now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. What the fuck happened? She must be in a coma, I guess. In shock. Come on, it can't be a dream all the way. There's no fucking way that was a dream. Oh, thank God. On the left! Slow down! Shut up! She's awake! Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. I was about to start Where tripping. Are we? Been driving a few hours now. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? 
What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was we're, more we formula back there. Far. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howes in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go open. ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. God damn. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't. God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie... Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. We've got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny... Damn, it's kind of worth it. No matter either choice I chose, even when I wanted to go. Fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! Fuck. Every time. Okay. 
that was weird. Uh, let me see if I can get back into it, because I guess my Xbox couldn't handle that shit no more the fuck up. Damn. Okay, that was fuck. That, re that really was fucking weird. But here, let me, um, hey, I'll be right back once I get started. Okay, we're back now. I'm gonna try to get it right. Jesus! Get out of there! The door is stuck! Shit! Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Clem, hurry! Get out! Hurry! Jane! Jane, wait! Jane! Oh, fuck. with her? Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Penny, 
Calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Penny? Don't. Come on. Don't pull this shit. How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an Fuck accident, it. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem? Come on. Stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! <laughs> Let go! Jane! Asshole! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! This is on you! Fuck, I couldn't. I'll fucking kill oh, you! Oh no. Think so. Clem, you made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. No, it's my fault. No, no, you did what you had to. You don't ever have to apologize for that. We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this, asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. Hey, Kenny. You're, you're going to see Kutch and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 
Are you okay? He's alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. I don't understand. Kenny was dangerous, and I needed you to see that, one way or another. What are you saying? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I'm not going anywhere with you. Clem, please. I did this for you. I can't do this alone, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Clem? days later oh god it right there come on as bullshit uh, that fucking sucks That sucks, that really does. Protected the baby. 54. In the end, who are you with? There's our along with 25.6. Ah. Uh, only 48.5 shot Kenny. I, well, good thing I. Want to help Luke? Well, no, he wouldn't. Fifty-five. He might. He might have been alive if I didn't help him. Damn. I I couldn't trust Jay. I mean, what would you? Would she done that again? That's the problem. 
but I guess that's it guys uh, comment comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video